the Buddha had four teachings on how people can get together, stay together for long periods of time. Um, and it's good to keep these in mind as you're facing your life together as a married couple. The first one is generosity, that you are generous with each other, not only with material things, but also with your time, your forgiveness, your knowledge, your help, whatever ways you can be generous. If both sides are having a giving attitude towards the relationship, then the relationship is going to survive. If you're thinking about, what am I getting out of this? Or who's giving more, who's giving less, that's going to you know, doom the relationship. But if you think, okay, I'm here, I'm here to give, because there's happiness that comes in giving, that's the first thing that keeps the relationship going. The second one is kind words, which means not only saying kind things or things the person other, other person wants to hear, but there are times when you might want to say something that the person doesn't want to hear, in which case you have to figure out the right time and occasion to say that. You know, What's the, the way to approach that? Because you want to show respect for the other person. Because this is what keeps a relationship alive, is the sense that you share values together and you respect one another. Um, the, the worst thing for a relationship is that there's any disrespect or contempt in it. So if the other person is doing something you think is, is totally stupid, you say, well, no, I'm not going to say it's totally stupid, but you find ways of talking to the person so the person doesn't lose face. And you don't do this in front of other people. This is something that you, you wait for the right time and the right place to say these things and choose the right words carefully. The third quality is that when you help each other, you're trying to make sure your help is genuine. It's not just help for the sake of show. You know, say, I made this, I did that for you, why aren't you doing this? It's more like I'm looking at what is you, what is it you really need, I'll, I'll be happy to provide that. And if there's a sense that you're providing genuine help to one another, that keeps the relationship alive. And then the fourth one is consistency, which means two things. One is that you, know, the, you stay as devoted to each other as you can, and however devoted you've been, you try to maintain that as you go go through life together. And secondly is the way you talk and act about around the person in, in, in front of them and behind them is the same. Um, that, that sense of honesty, um, you know, you don't want to hear, if, if you want to hear something that the other person has done that you, you, know, you haven't heard about, you want to hear that the other person has said nice things about you that they haven't said to your face yet, not the other way around. And so if you have these four, these four qualities of generosity, kind words, Genuine help and consistency. This keeps the relationship going for a long time with a sense of, you know, true well-being and true understanding. I mean, it's a really a shared relationship. So those are the Buddha's teachings on the topic of relationship.